Hello everybody, how you doing today? It's Superfiend here. Welcome back to our Total War 3 Kingdoms playthrough as the Yellow Turbans. This was a Huang Shao campaign. Luke Swan is currently our faction leader. And we got a lot of action uh, in today's episode. We got a lot of potential battles to fight. So we're just going to hop right into it and get going with these. Really quick, we're going to uh, take a very fast aside here and go through these. This was the dilemma at the end of last episode related to a siege. So we don't need to look at that. We have a rebellion imminent at on ping. Okay, fine. Uh, faction developments, moral laws. So we're going to have a reform to go look at. Beyond Jinpei has become trustworthy. So she has more expertise now. That's cool. Uh, let's see here. Friends. Lubin, Song Zai are becoming friends. And Yuan, Jing Shu, and Song Zai, they've lost their relationship. Presumably, presumably because Song Zai has become friendly with somebody else. So they have to like bump a relationship out if their relationships are full. Uh, let's see. People of Virtue. Oh my goodness. We haven't had a People of Virtue thingy pop up in forever. There is somebody in our court. Wow. That, like, never happens. He's got a Celestial Sphere. Now he's 30 years old. He's got a Healer's Tunic. Comes with a Military Expert that gives us Turtle, which uh, I never seem to be able to use with our units. So I'm not sure if it's uh, meant for us. He's greedy, though. Uh-oh. We don't like that. And he's disloyal. Oh, forget you. Uh, we are taking Attrition. Over here where we're laying siege and Kingdom of Wu has brought an army in as reinforcements. So uh, we'll deal with this in a minute, but we're probably going to break that siege and get away from them. Uh, but we're going to start down here in the southeastern part of China. We have finished a Copper Coin Mint. This is rank 5, so that's minus 4% corruption faction-wide. Very good. And Anding is now besieged. Let's go over here and look at this. It is... Zhang Jiang that is besieging Anding. This is over in the northwestern part of the map. And we have a hidden army right here ready to uh, get rid of them. So we'll get around to that stuff. Uh, where's our army over here? Okay. Let's go take the livestock farm at Huao Guan or Hu Guan. Hu Guan, however you pronounce this. And da, 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 da. looking at our force down here, we have one unit that is extremely weak. So we are going to fight this manually as a night battle to minimize our casualties. It's really kind of like a waste of time to do this, but I don't want to have to wait another turn for that unit to come back. And honestly, I'm thinking about swapping that unit out for something else anyways. Maybe. We'll see. These are our battle-hardened uh, veterans. Veterans in the sense that they've seen lots of battle, not that they're all veterans. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to deploy over here, I guess. Um, archery Masters. Men of the Forest. Put our reclaimers. Put our chanters on the flanks. Yell turban warriors. And put two there and two here. These are white way veterans. Okay. Uh, let's put our heroes or our generals all right there. And our Militia of Virtue in the back. Mm-hmm. Ali Ali Oxen Free, where are y'all hiding? Come on out and play. Well, let's move up with our generals. And let's speed up the battle here. Maybe uh, over there. There we go. Uh, let's see. Oh. <laughs> I select my Treb and right click on the archery unit right as it goes invisible. So then my Treb is now moving and probably all screwed up. 
Oh, God dang it, it did it again. All right, we're sitting here in the trees, so we're not going to take a lot of damage from these missiles. This unit's going to get absolutely uh, beaten to a pulp and then flee before it manages to kill anything over here that's going to hurt us long term. There you go. Start working on these ones. Okay, they're already broken. Our regular missile units will rip apart all this stuff. That looks like good hits. A couple of them in there. All right, let's come back with these guys. And let's just speed the battle up here. Our missile units will see the rest of these enemies off the field. We're going to turn fire arrows on on the men of the forest to hurt morale with any of anything that they shoot. The militia unit over here. There we go. They're all starting to break now. I'm so glad we took the time to do this. Mm, you know, we've been doing some loot and occupy. Um, I think I'm just going to occupy from here on out. We've gotten a character. We've gotten a second character. And we've secured the commandery down here. Strategies of the Warring States. Enables guerrilla deployment. Own retinue. Ah, interesting. So one of our characters has come on with a... Cool item, it seems. Now, let's go check them both out. Huang Long Shao. Enables guerrilla deployment. Uh, trusting. So we have expertise and resolve. I don't care about the undercover network cost nonsense. Indecisive. Uh, that's not that great. And tough. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, he just... He has piss poor character experience. No, he's mad. <laughs> he went from happy to mad when I took that away from him. Uh, you know, I guess he's good enough to uh, to keep. Minus 100% character salary. Do we have that with, like, all of our characters? We do. Huh. Cool. Uh, let's check out Juan Lu. He didn't come on with anything uh, good over here. Vain. Ugh, he's got that increased retinue upkeep. And he's weak. Okay, Juan Lu, you're out of here, dude. Um, is he way down at the end, or do I got to dig around in here for him? There he is. Release from service. Oh, oh, oh. I saw somebody in here. Uh, didn't we already look at him? Yeah, he's disloyal and greedy. Forget this guy. Okay. So, we did that. And who's got a uh, skill point to spend? Luke Swan, our faction leader, does. Very nifty. Uh, he's a general. He's up here. He could really use somebody else in here. Um, but let's see. He's Yale Turban Warriors, White Wave, and Cavalry. So, uh, Fatigue Resist is nice for Cavalry units. Uh, increased campaign movement range. He's already got reach. Let's go ahead and do effortless flow. For even more campaign movement range. I like that. Um, now, what has he got over here? Plus six instinct. Um, yeah, I think we might be better off 
giving this guy uh, one of these cool new items. That increases faction wide income. Let's just look in here real quick. Yeah, I care about that. Minus 5% corruption faction wide. That should get us uh, a good chunk of change back. And then what all is in here that's on cooldown? Because I just uh, enables guerrilla deployment. No, okay, let's uh, let's go with the reduction in corruption. That's this one. That gave us thirteen hundred back. Holy smokes, that's pretty substantial. Uh, okay, uh, popping back over here where we got these guys. Looking at this force, how much do we have here? Um, you know, I really feel like this Militia of Virtue unit is out of place down here. Can we swap them out with something? I think this is Huang Xiao's original retinue. So, the units that we have in here are not the normal units that he can recruit. But we have this ranged armor piercing damage, ranged damage. Okay, what do I want to put in here? We don't need any more trebs in this army. I could do another unit of Men of the Forest. Uh, yeah, I think... Um... No, you know, I'm going to put a cav unit. We could use a little extra mobility for this force. I think cavalry is good. Uh, in fact, uh, maybe switching these guys out for cav too would make sense. And then we got two, uh, two cav units. Our cavalry is really cheap too. Only 97 upkeep. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do cav and cav switch those out i know that this is like kind of a vetted unit that we're uh, swapping out and it's militia of virtue but i think i just want a couple units of cab in there um although no wait hold on a sec no 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 i don't want that i want reclaimers and i'm gonna swap these men of the forest guys out uh, no, I'm going to leave these ones. I'm going to leave these ones. The reasons I'm going to leave these ones is because they have Vanguard deployment and fire arrows, which means that they can immediately uh, destroy towers. And if we were to give this guy that new item we got, then our archery masters, when they have fire arrows, would immediately be able to destroy towers. Um, and that makes this a very good sieging force, I think. Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, so I think we want to give this guy when it's available. Not that. Where are you? The strategies of the warring states. So then he's got guerrilla deployment. Now, can he get that anywhere else in here? I don't know if he can. Uh, he should be able to, right? Because doesn't this guy have it? Can we get guerrilla deployment? All right, I got it. I hate digging through this stuff. 
I can never remember what is where. But doesn't this guy have guerrilla deployment? Commanded armory, no, personal. Retinue. No, okay, I must be imagining. No, I'm, I'm, well, I know these guys have guerrilla deployment. That's just their innate attribute. Okay, forget it, I'm wasting time on that. Uh, let's come up over here with this army where we've been recruiting. Okay, and then this army over here. So we've been laying siege at the copper mine, but only for one turn. Uh, unfortunately, we've run out of military supplies, and these are like yellow turban retinues. They're not our own generals, so they're not that good. And then there's an army over here from Kingdom of Wu that is now threatening us. So I think uh, we're gonna break this siege off. So let's uh, let's break the siege, and let's get the heck out of here. And I just want to, as fast as I can, get like back to our territory. And then with this army, I think we're going to swing up this way to help reinforce. And then we're going to recruit. And this guy's retinue. And we've got White Way Veterans and People's Warband. What are these? Oh, Peasant Archers. Uh, do we need some cavalry in this army? Yeah, I want cavalry. Uh, so we need like 800 from another battle. And then we can recruit some more cavalry there. Uh, moving up this way, let's attack this rebellion. Oh, we can auto resolve this. It's the battle of the... No, he's got a spear. I was going to say the battle of the bows or staves. Let's take the ransom. Uh, let's promote. And then let's go and attack one more time. Delegate again. And that should give us enough money to go recruit that other cavalry unit. Okay, and then let's just start heading back. And let's check out our two characters. Doesn't look like they had any ancillaries. Ambitious. Temperamental. Honorable. Uh, Fongli, I don't like you. And let's look at the other one. Wu Jian. We have indecisive, arrogant, and graceful. So he's got uh, pretty good expertise and an inherent 10% melee evasion. And something in here probably gives him another uh, plus 10 melee evasion, I think. Uh, in any case, this guy would be a nice uh, bog to hold down enemy units in. Uh, indecisive and arrogant. Uh, he's not that bad. He's not that bad. I guess the arrogant, the authority from the arrogance offsets the indecisive and the indecisive gives them a little bit more expertise. So he's not terrible. He's not the, yeah, you know what? Forget it. I'm getting rid of him. You're out of here. So long. Okay, now we've got uh, this army right here. Okay, there was a third retinue in here. I have no idea where it went. And so I am extremely nervous about attacking this guy. Like, I just feel like he's got an ambush set up somewhere. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back to here. I'm going to ambush. And then I'm going to set back to here. And I'm going to encamp. Because I, I feel like this is not all there is going on over here. There's got to be more than meets the eye. Bah -ha -ha. Uh, up here. 
Uh, I wanted to take these two armies and go take Luau Yang or Luo Yang, however you pronounce that. But uh, I'm thinking maybe heading a little bit south to deal with Feng Anjuan would be better. Um, so let's see here. She's got the Trebs. So here's what we'll do. We'll, we'll swing over this way. Is that going to uncover that city for us? No. And we'll just kind of see if we can peek at this. Yeah, so it's possible that we could swing over there and grab that really quick and still uh, come down to deal with this army. Uh, no fire arrows there and no fire arrows there. Uh, so I think if they attack this farm, we'll be able to defend it. Uh, really, only the livestock farm is, I think, the only thing they can effectively threaten. So I think we're okay. Oh, and then uh, let's pop back over here again real quick. Can I get that? There we go. Okay, now coming up over to here, we got a little bit of action. We can attack Zhang Jiang at this town and then like sweep through this territory. I want to get up here to Fan Yi and uh, destroy this faction if we can. We tried to earlier in the campaign, but there was some sort of bug that prevented us from attacking them. And there's a patch note in the recent patch that supposedly fixes that. So let's starve this out and we'll come up with our reinforcing army. And we'll auto resolve this one. Uh, another pair of characters. People are becoming friendly. We've gained a eunuch and a. I think the strategies of the Warring States is uh, the original one that we got earlier this turn. Uh, let's go check out our two characters. And yeah, there's the uh, the eunuch there, Poo Bing, weak. Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of you. You're no good. Poo Bing and then Diao Ling, trusting, brilliant. I love brilliant and creative. Oh, okay, here we go. This guy's pretty decent. Okay, but Pooh Bing has got to go. Demolish both of those. Okay. And then now we've got some action over here at this fishing port. Let's, um... Let's see here. I think uh, Luke Swan is going to come on as reinforcements here. Okay, I think it's still a uh, glitchy because we're at war with this guy. Yeah, we're at war with him. Um, but like he doesn't have a zone of control. We can move right up to him. This is not correct. That that should not be possible. What is going on here? I can't attack him. Oh, good grief. Here we go again. Yeah. This is this is very clearly bugged. Um, I'm at war with this guy. It won't let me attack him. Uh, well, I guess we'll just come up and lay siege up here and take the city then. Since that guy's invincible. Continue our siege. We'll bring our reinforcements up. And then we'll probably just auto-resolve this. 
And then he'll turn around and wipe out our faction leader. You watch. Wow, this retinue got absolutely beat up. Okay, no more ancillaries in our two newest characters. So we have kind. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Lots of authority and satisfaction. Indecisive. They keep they keep coming in with this indecisive nonsense. Cordial. So this guy's got a lot of authority. But he's still not that great. So Ren, Shan, Mean, I think I'm gonna get rid of you. And Zhang, Xiang. So let's see here. We got clever, increased character experience, cool. Spiteful, not bad. And sincere. I think this guy's okay. We just don't want him to ever become a Lord of Virtue. So Ren Shan Mean, right? Yeah. Let's go get rid of you. And all of these characters are like free. It's crazy. It's crazy that they, they don't cost any like upkeep. Okay, now over here. Uh, who is this? Ma Chao was coming like through here to threaten the Silk Trader, but then we brought this force up and they backpedaled. So uh, this guy's just going to stay there. And now we've got the last bit here. Zhang Jian laying siege. And we got a good army right here to go and fight them. So let's see. What's our movement look like? Should we go wipe out this smaller force first? Uh, we'll have 40% of our movement left over. Yeah, we're going to attack the small army here. And we're going to switch this to a night battle. <laughs> we'll fight this, minimize our casualties, and then we'll uh, fight the bigger battle. Okay, we don't need to be particularly clever about how we do this. We'll just speed it up. These guys are gonna break and flee before they ever get near us. There we go. I can't get close enough with our trebs to see. I w I'd like this guy to like get knocked off his horse. Oh, 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 that one was pretty close. All right. Little pointless, but you know what? Maybe we'll get an ancillary out of that or get a level up and thus a skill point on one of these guys before we fight the bigger battle. Not that we really need it, but um, it might help. And we're going to end up having to fight this guy anyway, so. Uh, yeah, we got an ancillary. We've got a white stallion. Uh, so long. Take the small bit of money. A character. Um, inspector and military axe, it looks like. No skill points, though. Chiao Chia. Composed. Populist. Strong. Okay, I like this guy. Finally, somebody who's not uh, totally terrible. What is the people's justice? Eh, not that great. 
population growth. So we'll take that from him. And now we're going to go and attack this army here. He'll probably run. Yep. Uh, do we have the... Ah, oh, damn. He, he ran way too far. Way too far. Oh, I don't like that. So what is our ambush success chance? I wish I could see what it is. It's not going to show me. Uh, well, in any case, we're going into an ambush stance. It's probably 80% or higher because somebody in here has um, this awesome item plus 15% chance of ambushing and then an additional 25% chance when you complete the set. So yippee. And I think that's all the movement we can do. Uh, no, we got this guy and this guy. They're not going anywhere. They're both replenishing. Um, so I guess maybe this guy will go up and attack the, the tool maker possibly. Well, if he does and he takes it, then we're right here to go get him. We have a reform. Uh, what was the one that we finished? I don't remember. I think it was something in here. You know, I think it was this one, Moral Laws. So we can recruit bringers of righteousness. And that's probably uh, for our healers. And this is for scholars. Let's, uh, let's just go ahead and do this one and unlock a new unit. And let's go find a healer that is deployed somewhere. Here's a healer. Do we have access to bringers of righteousness? Is that these guys? Yeah, so we can recruit them now. That's uh, that's pretty cool. I think that they like a halberd or a glaive and then bows. I think I've had these in my Winshu campaign. They're pretty cool because they can go into a defensive stance where they like point all their big spears or halberds out in front and then they got bows behind. So that's very good uh, for protecting your flanks from good cavalry units. So that's pretty neat. Uh, are they similar to, where'd they go here? Where's that? No, 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 down over here. No, these aren't them. Okay, in any case, uh, let's end our turn and see what the AI is going to do here. Okay, they're laying siege at the farm. And they are attacking our tool maker, which... Uh, I don't think we're going to win, so I'm going to delegate. I'm not that concerned right now about causing casualties to them. Uh, Duchy of Zhang asking for peace, offering us 8,600 and some change. Get lost. Ha 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 ha. There will be no peace. Uh, Fan Yi uh, apparently at least can't attack us either, so that's cool. So I'm wondering if we're going to be able to attack his settlement because we can't attack his army. Settlement lost. We've completed the reform ancient rites. So now our scholars. Uh, let's find a scholar in here. You're a scholar, right? should have access to something new. Venerable Wu. Poisoned weapons. Immune to scare. And they cause scare. Uh, how much are they? 1,800 and almost 200 per turn. So a good flanking unit. Uh, are they fast too? What's their speed look like? Um, 
Let's compare them with the Chanters then. They're both 38. Uh, these guys are 34. Uh, pretty much any infantry in here with shields looks to be 34. Uh, these guys are 42, so the Sky Heralds are a little bit faster. Uh, okay. So we got a Rebellion. This is up at Anping. And... Well, I guess we got to send somebody up there, right? To go take care of it. We're going to send this army because uh, he's got captains. So let's uh, force march and start heading towards Anping. Chen. The farmland is sieged and Anding is sieged. Yeah, we can clear this off real easy. Lubu. Okay, we're going to need to use our bigger army for this, but uh, Lubu is going to meet a tragic end over here. Settlement lost the toolmaker. Buildings, we finished demolishing some stuff at Shandong. Shandang. We got a good amount of income, so I'm just going to upgrade this right now to get it up to rank 3 and then to rank 4 to get the walls. But I'm not going to build anything because I can't because I'm upgrading. Uh, attrition. Yeah, this guy's still suffering attrition. So let's get him out of there. Can we get to our territory? Good. And let's... Um... Come to here and ambush. We've gained a merchant. I don't really care. And people have become friendly. And oath sworn. And honestly, um, I don't think I'm going to spend much time looking at those types of um, character developments anymore. It's just... We're at a point in the campaign where that kind of stuff's just not super interesting to me. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go ahead and research this one. That's going to unlock... Watchmen of the people for our veterans. And those look like shielded crossbow units. Kind of interesting. I've not used anything like that at all in any of my campaigns yet. And then let's uh, come over this way and go after this copper mine, I think. Start heading into the interior of Kingdom of Wu territory. And we can move all the way up to here. And maintain a... 60% ambush success chance. Okay, so we'll do that. And then... Uh, these guys can't go anywhere right now, so we're all done over here. Now, what have we got here? Kingdom of Wu. Are you coming to us? He looks like he's crossing the river. What happened to that smaller? Okay, so Sima Yi is back. So that other army is ambushing over here. I don't know like what game they're playing, but they are trying to be clever. So I'm going to be clever as well. And I'm going to ambush. And then I'm going to... How far can this guy move? I'm going to come all the way down here to Yang Zhao to protect the toolmaker from this force. And we need to get some armies down here. So uh, let's forget about Lao Yang. Well, you know what we can do? We can force march with this army, get here relatively quickly. Now, this forces them to essentially attack us, I think. And then uh, she can't quite get there. But we're going to move up and in camp. Playing it a little conservative over there. And rushing to defend over here. Okay, this army... 
we can't see into her territory here. So I'm going to go up to here where we have 27% movement left over. And then I'm just going to ambush. And then what are the borders here? So I'm thinking we're not going to be able to come up here and take this. It just really doesn't seem like we can. Because uh, this guy just went right by our territory. So even though we're at war, somehow like we, we can't attack each other. Terrible movement through here. This is going to be... I probably should go south. Uh, but we need to come over here and take this settlement. So going south would have been faster. So I'm going to send this army down south. This guy will just take the long way. He needs a turn or two to replenish anyways. Not just one turn. Uh, but now we know that she doesn't have any armies here because we just uh, uncovered the fog of war with this army. So we're good to move in this way. So let's um, let's force march. Oh yeah, we're golden. So we're gonna take the toolmaker next turn and then descend on Taiwan or Taiwan. That looks good. We're looking good over here still. Our current corruption is 50%. Ouch. Okay, right here. Let's go get Lubu. Yeah, you're going to run away. And that gets him off our settlement. He's taking attrition. So he's really not much of a threat. This army up here is stuck. So let's go up and attack them right now before they can escape. I think we can do it. We'll make it a night battle. It's a tool maker. So they're going to have towers and whatnot. And we've got siege equipment. So we pretty much knows how we know how this battle is going to go. Uh, we bombard one of the entrances. They trickle out, take lots of damage, hopefully. If they hole up inside the settlement, then it's a little bit harder. But I, I still think we can do this. I think we can do it. Except we don't have flaming shot. Now we do have fire arrows, so So we can immediately open fire on these two towers. There are trebs here. Fire it will off. And then we got our spears. Our cav. Our other missiles. Which maybe we'll bring forward. Our yellow turban warriors. And then we got our generals. Okay, that looks to be everything. Move up with these guys right away. Uh, let's go shoot this tower over there so that we can move up with these with this infantry and protect ourselves without worrying about losing men to the missile fire all right so they are uh hold up in here they're not coming out uh so let's start looking at their targets that are dangerous to us the crossbows are a primary target because they outrange us So we want to start whittling them away. Okay, that tower is now burning. And let's move over and shoot the other tower. Because these ones are now gone. Okay, 
Okay, go shoot that thing, please. Let's shoot the G militia here. Okay, that tower is destroyed, so let's come back over this way. All right, looks like they're bringing some uh, units out. Stop firing there. Okay, let's shoot the cavalry. Do they have any more crossbow units? No. Stop firing with our artillery for a few. I think we've done enough damage to the crossbows. The Xi'an infantry captain is fleeing. Okay, let's uh, shoot that cav. Okay, let's come up with these guys. Oh, what is that? That's the cavalry. Okay, stop firing. Stop firing. Uh, I gotta find something else to shoot. Um, they got some archer militia over here. So let's go move to where we can ding them. And let's bring some cav over here. Because our cav have very good block chance. Start hitting these cav over here with our treads. I'm going to shoot the crossbows and I'm going to come up with these guys. I'm going to move these guys uh, up to here and then shoot that archer militia. Okay, we need to get rid of the crossbows and then the other archer militia over here. Okay, they've charged into us here. Yeah, darn. That archer unit's just out of our reach. Are you shooting them or not? Shoot them more. Let's bring our cavalry. Uh, trebuchet stopped firing for a few. Okay, we broke the crossbows. Now let's shoot the archer militia. Let's bring our generals up. Okay, this unit's starting to break. Okay, let's tie those guys up. Okay, we might have an opening over here. Pull back with those missiles. All right, charging the G militia. Let's go get on the spear guards. Artillery will fire at their general there. Okay, let's go attack the spear guard there. Uh, what are you guys doing? Let's we'll charge in here again. And where are is our white way veterans? Okay, let's 
Uh, shoot them. Shoot the G militia. Okay, now if we can just run through here with these guys, we might be able to do a little bit of damage. Okay, shooting that. Uh, shoot that archer militia now. Keep shooting them. Okay, we've got a nice charge right here lined up. Okay, broke that. Switch to that unit. How are we looking over here? Our spear guards are still doing good. Wouldn't you know, I forgot a couple units. Okay, let's charge into the rear here. Charge into these guys here. I'm going to take guard mode off of our cav. There we go. Let's get out with our archers there. Our men have been discovered. Oh no. Dude, Su Feng. Ouch. How is this one unit of G militia causing so much damage to our cavalry when we charge them into the flanks like twice? I don't like that. No, but let's run them down, get rid of them. Let's come over this way. Let's pull back with this guy. We need some reinforcements over here. And we need some supporting missile fire, which we're going to get from these units in just a moment. Okay, come on, get up here. Let's move up with these guys. Okay, we're going to charge into the Saber Militia and the Spear Guards and shoot the Spear Guards with fire arrows. Oh, those guys just ran ran out of ammo. Shoot the spear guards. Break the morale. Okay, we want to push in over here. Get our cavalry units ready. Um, you know what? I'm going to shoot the G militia back there that are a little bit weaker with these two units. And let's get on the cavalry, the infantry, the cavalry, and the infantry. Okay, we got through here. Let's push in. We are taking this. They cannot stop us. Spears on the cav. And then on the infantry, on the infantry. I'll shoot that G militia. These units are now out of ammo. Okay, let's see if we can create like a hole in here that we can push through with our cav. Yeah, come and get it. Okay, our unit over here broke. That's not that great. Okay, yeah, charge into us. All right, this better be a decent charge. Like right into the side of these guys. Come on. Ah, damn it. They stole our momentum here with their saber cab. Let's charge into the saber cab now. Here come our white waves. 
Oh, what an absolute disaster. We are winning. We did break all this. Come on, get on him. Get on him. Let's get some general units in here. I think it's going to be our cavalry that wins us this fight. Let's get on the saber cav back there. Let's get on that. Let's get on there, general. With our guys here, this stuff's all broken. Yeah, we broke this guy. We broke all this stuff. Let's smash the G militia over here and let's bring our arch or infantry around. So good. This stuff's gonna break. So we go get the axe band over here. We are taking missile fire. Okay, charge back into this guy again. All right, we need to bring our other cavalry back over here to deal with this archer militia. And we need to pull back with Su Feng. Oh, come on. Okay, let's bring this stuff up. Okay, we got to get on this saber cab right here with all this stuff. And then all of our archers. Come on. Give me a normal deployment. There you go. How's this unit not dead? I got six units of cav. Three of them are generals fighting one saber cavalry. Explain it to me. I'm going to pull my generals off and go get the axe band because that should break them. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, these guys are now going to get run down as they chase my generals. Okay, good. That broke. This is almost broken. Let's start heading this way. Got a nice brawl in here with our archers. These guys are back again. Yeah. They got some G militia they've been holding in reserve over there. Get out of here with that. This is a very costly fight. But we are going to get these guys out of here. Okay, there. We broke that unit. Let's bring our regular calf back this way. Because once we charge into all this, that's it. It's game over. Okay, waiting on that unit to break finally. Let's go get the strategist here with our generals. And then our other in, uh, cavalry coming up. Okay, all this stuff is breaking now. Pulling back with our generals. So we can get a second charge in. Let's send these archer units over into the rear of the spear guards. Okay, 
charging into Zhao Shang. Let's hit this guy again with our generals. Uh, let's go intercept the G militia coming in behind us. Probably a fight to the death in here. This stuff is all shattering. So mission accomplished there. This guy's holding fast in the center. G militia are collapsing. What happened to that cavalry unit he had? Are they right here? They're breaking. So now it's really just uh, this guy. Let's get everything on him. He does not want to give up. He's still hanging tight. He's got 12 men left in his unit. Let's charge in here with our generals again. One last time. There you go. Now he's getting cut down a little bit faster. Stalling out at two. And there we go. That was a tough battle. Uh, but it worked out okay as long as Lu Bu and Zheng Jiang don't uh, come out of the fog of war with extremely tough forces next turn uh, and we do always have the option of uh, sacking and withdrawing which is not a bad choice because we do want to give this territory uh, to whoever's controlling Gangdu now we don't really want to hold this so so let's see here what do we got lots of money You know what? I don't want to be trapped in the settlement, so I'm going to sack and withdraw. Okay, and how far can we move? Not very far. So if they happen to attack us from like anywhere from this fog of war, which I don't think they will, we should be able to flee and escape. Unfortunately, we're not replenishing right now. Um... I could be cheap and no, I wouldn't be able to replenish. No, I would be able to. If I were to pull two retinues out and force march them over here, they would probably replenish, but then I would have one very weak retinue left behind. So we're not going to do anything uh, gamey like that. Uh, this guy, uh, no, let's go over here to him. Okay, we can finally get our flaming shot. That's going to make things a lot easier, especially since we have 25% range damage for his retinue. Over here. He also has Flaming Shot, but I don't think we really care. We already have Night Battles. Uh, Su Fang. You know, he could really do a 10% armor. He got absolutely demolished charging into that uh, G Militia unit. Uh, but he's also... Now, this gives cunning so it would increase our ammunition. Guerrilla deployment. Uh, I'm going to get the guerrilla deployment. The idea being that when we attack anything with towers, our archers can guerrilla deploy with flaming arrows and shoot them down very fast. I think they got flaming arrows. Do we not? Did I screw that up? <laughs> no, we do. We got fire arrows. Okay. And then uh, this guy over here. I'm going to get... Oh, he's already got grill deployment. Never mind. I'm going to get the melee evasion uh, so that we can charge him in the battle more. Uh, ancillaries, we have a Master Craftsman, I think is the newest one. We killed Jia Kui, Gong Sun Zhao, and uh, Gao Sheng. 
Let's go check out our newest character. Yep, way down here. I'm going to take this away from you. Boop. Weak. Hmm. I'm going to get rid of Tufa wrong. I just... We got so many characters coming in that I really don't want to keep anybody unless they're kind of a little bit more staler. If they, if they have, like, just the wrong one negative uh, attribute or character trait. I, I think it's enough for me to say, nah, I don't want them. All right, looking in here, we've moved everybody, except for these two. But they are holding down their uh, perspective settlements. And I think we can just end our turn and see what the AI does here. So the, the curious bit is going to be what happens over here. This is what we really want to see. Okay, so... Ooh. Wow, he's got a gigantic reinforcement range. Uh, remember, they don't have fire arrows. I think he might. Ah, <sighs> ba 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 you know, I'm just going to delegate it. We'll get it back real fast. We have an army on the way down. It's no big deal. Yeah, I hope you're happy. Celebrate. Okay. Uh, we might be in trouble over here. <laughs> yeah, we are in trouble over here. They are choosing to attack us. They've brought everything all their forces to bear and the episode's already quite long so we're gonna fight this when we come back in the next one looking forward to that hope to see you there check out the uh, rest of the channel if you haven't already consider subscribing uh, let me know if you enjoyed this with comments or thumbs up i'm enjoying it i think we got a really good battle here and thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time you have a good afternoon and take care